I just love the smell of a fresh evergreen forest. But you know, they're kind of hard to find around in our area. And that's because evergreens aren't native to Kane County. But that doesn't mean you won't find them. If you go on a hike through our woodlands, you're bound to run into some of these evergreen friends. So let's go into some tips and tricks on how you can identify some of these evergreen species. You know, a lot of people actually use the terms conifers and evergreens interchangeably when they're talking about a pine tree. But in reality, evergreens and conifers mean two entirely different things. When you use the term evergreen, you're referring, referring to the foliage or the leaves of the tree, meaning they stay green year round. When you use the word conifer, you're referring to trees that are cone bearing. So when we think about it, not all evergreens are conifers and not all conifers are evergreens. What do we have here? Okay. So it's got longer needles. I'm seeing the needles are in clumps, which is a characteristic of a pine species. So we're definitely in the genus Pinus. I'm seeing that, let's count here. There are one, two, three, four, five needles per clump or fascicle. So that tells me that this is a white pine and by looking at the bark, that gray bark with that very slight tinge of pink, this is definitely a white pine. An easy way to remember that white pines have needles that grow in clumps of five is think about how many letters are in the word white, five. So if we count the needles, we can go W, H, I, T, E. <laughs> Oh, it's not always easy trying to identify trees. All right, let's look here. So we have our needles that are growing in clumps. And that tells me it's in the Pinus family or pine trees. And these needles are a lot longer and they grow in clumps of two. This is a really good indicator that this is a red pine. We also can look and see that the bark is pink and gray. And in the sunlight, you'll definitely be able to see those red hues coming through. Pine cones are a useful tool for differentiating different conifer species. For example, red pines have cones that are short and stout, and white pines have cones that are long and narrow. Here's another cool tree species. So what we have here is a tamarack. And just by looking at the bark, we can see that it's light gray and flaky. But what's most notable about the tamarack is that it is considered a deciduous conifer. So what that means is that it doesn't keep its green needles year round. What will happen is in the spring, the needles will grow out in clusters. They'll be bright green all summer, and in the fall time, they will turn yellow and fall to the ground, just like many of our other deciduous species like oaks and maples. We can also see on the tamarack that it produces several cones along one branch, and the cones are small and round. Spruces have several characteristics that allow us to identify them. One is the needles are very pokey and they can stab you. So one way to remember that spruce needles are sharp is if it's a spruce, ah, let it loose. When we take a closer look at the needles, we see that they uh, attach singularly to the twig and not in clumps like our pine species. For spruces, their needles radiate out all the way around the twig. So when we look at them head on, it actually kind of looks like a bottle brush. Lastly, if we were to pull a needle off of the spruce, we could uh, roll it in our fingers because they have edges all the way around the needle. The trees we've discussed may not be native to Kane County, but they still provide several ecological benefits. They provide great habitat and food sources for a variety of wildlife, 
like the great horned owl and the Kirtland's warbler. They also have fun ethnobotanical services that we can benefit from. Back in the day, pioneers and early settlers would use white pine, which is chock full of vitamin C to combat the effects of scurvy. Now that you have the useful tools to help you identify different evergreen and conifer species, come out to one of our forest preserves and put your tools to the test.